I'm sorry, Mrs. Jackson, that I have to talk about your family. If your family didn't bring me this action, then I wouldn't be talking. Now, here I go, ma'am. <laughs> if you're new to this show, the catchphrase is how you doing, which is a friendly greeting. But the underlying tone of the Wendy show is say it like you mean it. Jermaine Jackson is making his 83-year-old mother, Catherine, Catherine, very angry. He just scooped up a 2009 Ferrari worth $160,000. Mrs. Jackson has been supporting his, her, you know, that entire family because uh, Jermaine can't afford much, including going to court and, and, and whatnot. So, you know, that is very irresponsible, Jermaine. You know what else is irresponsible? Changing your family name from Jackson to Jackson. Remember I told you that with S-U-N. Having three kids with your brother's baby's mother. Oh, yes! Randy had her first. Two kids by her. Jermaine got her second. Had three kids by her. And there she is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Mrs. Jackson, you have a messy family. Thank you. yourself that wasn't true and I can tell you if you can't think. Well tell me because I can't. were smashing Patty LaBelle. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah he was married to Uma Thurman. She and I used to get our colonics at the same place. Oh that's house. so sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing. We shared the same hose. <laughs> Look, um, you know where sauce came from? It came from the French. Oh. Because in <laughs> it is the weekend. Well, yes it is. <laughs> But the, uh, in the 1700s... have finally um, ended their long-standing feud. Do you remember they had their fight and tore the club down here in New York back in 2012, reporter, reportedly arguing over Rihanna? It probably went something like this. Well, I had her too. Well, I did her first. Well, <laughs> well, I, well I did her dirty. Well, who doesn't do her dirty? Well, you know, like that. The thing about guys, you know that saying that they have bros before? It is so, it is so... It is so correct, though. Like, we women, we don't do that. If by chance we got with the same guy, like, we, we don't make up like that. Instead, we do stuff like, well, I look better than her. <laughs> you know? But anyway, so they were seen hugging, and I guess they're both done with Rihanna, and I bet you they traded some dirty stories about how they, you know, how dirty it is. Oh. <laughs> if I could... Those doors would open up, I'd be like, bam! Ah! <laughs> She's pretty, right? I wish I could walk like that. Yeah. If I could, right, Suzanne? Yeah. If I could walk like that, when that man in, in, the, in the ceiling says, and here's Wendy! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Every day, every day. If I could walk, I don't know whether I'd want to walk like her or Naomi Campbell, because she got a mean walk also, you know, Naomi Campbell. <laughs> are those handcuffs? Are her arms leashed from one to the other? <laughs> Brittany, what you into? <laughs> okay. All right, here's the real William H. Ma Macy. <laughs> Here's where we're going with this. Take a look at the little guy. <laughs> Kate Middleton recently fired her hairstylist. Did you hear about this story? Um, and that might explain why Kate has been walking around recently with gray roots. I guess she hasn't found a new... Yeah, she's got, she's got gray roots. She's a young girl, you know. She's only... A... <laughs> okay. Kate looks like she needs a long winter's nap. Looks like that baby is wearing her out, right? <laughs> the young lady is only like 30, uh, 
31 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you need a nap and a new hairdresser. And congratulations, Kate, on, um, <laughs> on marrying well. Yeah. <laughs> Snooky. Oh. Well, she says her days may be numbered um, on reality TV. Just saying, girl. Nobody's watching that. <laughs> now, what will Snooki do for money, you ask? Well, stuff. <laughs> I mean, she's got a book coming out. This would be like her second or third book. Uh, she's got some sort of fragrance. Oh, um, oh my God. <laughs> Was that nonverbal for nobody wants to smell like Snooki? <laughs> She's got some slippers and she's got like she's got stuff going on. Um, Richard's everybody, if you pull up close to him, let me give, give me a better and closer picture of his eyes. You know I love a squinty oh. eye. Oh. I love a squinty eye in the sultry way, not in the distrustful way, like DL Hughley. Like he is <laughs> like that's that's that, 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 <laughs> Sorry, DL. Anyway, um, let's move along. <laughs> Less attractive women are just happy to be hit off, so I guess they keep their mouths shut. Anyway, uh, there are some new pictures that have surfaced with Mildred and Arnold and their comfort level with one another. Take a look at them dancing. And now, now, now first of all, Mildred looks attractive there. Uh, in a, in a jump-off kind of way. It's now been revealed that Maria Shriver Schwarzenegger and uh, Mildred, the maid, gave birth less than a week apart from one another. The, the other sad part about this is, is that infidelity happens and sometimes children are produced. But you know what? If it was Maria with the gardener and Maria was the one pregnant, this would be a whole nother story. Unfortunately, girls, and even I, and I'm all about girl power, but even I would be like judging a lot harder. It's horrible to say, we just can't play the same games that men can play, which is why we've got to play them smarter. <laughs> Take a vow and you expect it. Damn it. This is a great way to go. She's making her way around. Yeah, no, you know what? Give it up. Can I, can I buy these from you? Yeah, oh, please. Mango from JC Penny? Yeah, you got it. This there you the go. This is the sister's line. You know, Penelope and uh, her sister, Monica. This is their line. Fashionista. Yeah, and well. a little plaid on the wrist is hard to find. These are really cool. Colorbyamber.com. And they're, they're under $25. Gee, they look like they go with my new shoes. Okay, we're good. We'll put them in the back. There's certain things that can wait. Like, you don't need to eat on the subway, you know, as a grown person. <laughs> you know, you don't need to fart in public. You know, you go someplace, fart over there, and light a match and come back. There are certain things, there are certain things. <laughs> so Nene was planning this trip. Now, this is supposed to be the big trip, you know, when, you know, all the Housewives franchises, they have a big trip. Bravo, why was their big trip to Savannah only four hours away? <laughs> Shout out to everybody in Savannah. I love you all, but I'm just saying, the housewives have been to Africa. They go to Tahiti and Aruba and places like that. Savannah? <laughs> really? I still can't believe they went to Savannah, though. <laughs> we need to budget up and send these girls someplace else. <laughs> so, love and hip-hop star Stevie J oh. is denying being a deadbeat dad. Oh. He takes care. That's not the picture I like, though. <laughs> Come on, yeah! Oh. <laughs> For the life of me, I can't understand why a lot of you sports players dress like real corn balls. You know, Matt Kemp, you could fit a, a village of children underneath, <laughs> underneath your cuff. Why is your cuff so big? Why are you dressed like that?
Are you ready to hear uh, Lindsay Lohan's latest? Uh, okay. She's going to revamp her music career. No, you're supposed to say what music career? And then I am supposed to remind you that she had two albums out. Two. One in 2004 and one in 2005. Well, she was a Disney kid, and you know they know how to sing, dance, and act. She's uh, what to call a triple threat to society. <laughs> Look how she uses that crimp iron. Do you remember the crimp iron years? OMG. She also admitted to showing up to a Maxim magazine photo shoot high on ecstasy after making out with a woman in a limo ride from the Playboy Mansion from a party the night before. <laughs> You can't even get an emotion out of that, can you, co-host? <laughs> Ooh, messy. How many of you have always said that Chloe is the prettiest Kardashian? You know what I mean? Or that you find something very, very endearing about... Well, listen, there's only one woman in the audience that said that, <laughs> Chloe. Sorry. Another fun day here at the plant. <laughs> oh, <I wanna> <laughs>